calendar for the year 2010. This calendar includes the Grenada Independence Festival, a national pan festival, the Spice Island Festival of Words, and the Cameroon Celebration of Grenadian Folk Culture. Work on the National Film Commission and the repositioning of the Grenada's Cultural Foundation has already started. Similarly, new intellectual property legislation and an act to establish a permanent body to run carnival will be pursued. <coughs> new initiatives in the education curriculum will usher in the teaching of new cultural art forms in our schools. My government's recognition of Indian Arrival Day and the new emphasis being placed on our emancipation celebrations are consistent with my government's policy to recognize and appreciate our historical and cultural legacy. ICT. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, given the convergence of information and communications technology, these functions were consolidated within the Prime Minister's ministry. In recognition of the strategic importance of information and communications technology, my government is in the process of preparing a new plan to guide its development. The primary objective is to increase the use of ICTs at all levels of government, the private sector, and within our communities. My government will continue to improve the level of internet penetration and is working with providers to set up hotspots in strategic areas around the country. We are making Grenada IPv4 ready. Our ICT center of excellence will be fully operational and we will continue to source funding for enhancing broadband capacity. The ICT sector will play a strategic role in the transformation of our economy. Works, physical development, and utilities. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, given the importance of the construction sector to national development, my government will concentrate on the revitalization of the construction sector. The Ministry of Works and the Project Implementation and Management Unit will be strengthened to enable the speedy implementation of all major capital projects and improvement in our physical planning and development. With regard to the area of physical development Efforts will be directed toward the following. Establishment of a new development regulation. Update of the present Physical Planning and Development Control Act. Establishment of conservation guidelines for the town of St. George's. Completion of local area plan for the town of Cities and its environs. My government will provide increased investment in public sector infrastructure development. Major projects to be implemented include the, the building of agricultural feeder roads, the completion of the refurbishment of the St. George's Market Square, the completion of civil and structural engineering designs and contract documents for the construction of approximately four foot 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 foot
South St. George Flood Control Study, the Halls of Justice, the Grenville Market Square, the St. John's River Flood Mitigation Project, the Parliament Building, the Luther's Lane Government Office Complex, the Simoon Cultural Complex, and the refurbishment of the hospital. Work will continue on the Gulf Fisheries Complex. My government will continue to work with all investors and stakeholders in the implementation of private sector funded development projects. Health. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, my government will accelerate its commitment to the provision of better health care for everyone in the year 2011. Critical initiatives will include the upgrading of the operations of the accident and emergency departments at the main hospitals, ensuring the adequacy of medical supplies at these hospitals and community health centers, strengthening of community services, retrofitting of existing hospital facilities at St. George's, and the recommencement of work on phase two of the hospital project. The construction of the Gov Health Center and renovations to other health facilities will also be priorities for my government. Special emphasis will be placed, placed on enhancing human resource capacity of the ministry through greater access to training and improved performance management. Environment and trade. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, my government recognizes the inextricable link among issues of biodiversity conservation, climate change, and the country's sustainable socioeconomic development. As such, our immediate focus will be to facilitate the formulation, management, and implementation of the National Biodiversity Strategy, the Climate Change Strategy, and associated action plans over the next three-year planning period. My government will actively pursue the creation of institutional and commercial arrangements that will assist Grenada in maximizing the benefits of negotiated market access for its domestic producers of goods and services. We will move to invigorate and transform the Economic, economic Partnership Agreement Unit into center responsible for the accessing and dissemination of development resources. Resources especially designed for the removal of bottlenecks in the domestic production and in enabling spaces that re would result in the movement to markets of greater and more varied volumes of indigenous goods and services. My government will continue to advocate and defend within the bounds of legal and institutional propriety the trade and commercial interests of the state while simultaneously utilizing the marketing and national importing board to positively impact the cost of living and the quality of life of our farming communities. Energy. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, access to adequate, affordable, and reliable energy sources is a prerequisite for sustainable development. 
as a priority, my government has developed a national energy policy in full consultation with the major stakeholders. This policy sets out a clear path to transition Grenada to the use of renewable energy and to maximize energy efficiency. We are currently drafting legislation to regulate the use of geothermal energy and are negotiating a resource agreement with Grenlec. During the year 2011, it is anticipated that several laboratory wells will be drilled in the Mount St. Catherine region to confirm the presence of usable geothermal energy. In addition, we are seeking grant funding for a major wind energy project in Karakou with the potential to displace up to 70% of the current diesel used for electricity generation. We are also seeking grant funding for the installation of solo, solar photovoltaic systems on the roofs of the homes of approximately 200 low-income households. This initiative will provide a clean alternative source of energy and reduce the monthly electricity bill for these households. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, Grenada is going green. And we will soon be able to claim that virtually all our electrical energy is derived from renewable sources. We are fulfilling our moral responsibility to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, even though they are minuscule on a global scale. My government continues to work hard to resolve existing legal issues surrounding our potential hydrocarbon resources. Foreign interest in exploration remains high and we are determined to exploit these resources in an environmentally and socially conscious manner as expeditiously as possible. Housing. Mr. Deputy President, Mr. Speaker, my government remains committed to the provision of safe and affordable housing and to improve the standard of living of our people. Decent housing is essential for normal family life and as such, housing solutions will be provided to citizens in need. Work will continue on the low-income housing project funded by the People's Republic of China, whilst preparatory work will be negotiated for phase two. needs of the populace are met. Lands. My government will embark on a land regularization program in specific areas having high incidences of informal residents or persons occupying land without proper documentation. My government will continue with the remapping exercise for Grenada, Karakou, and Piti Martinique, as well as implementing plans to ensure that the requisite skills are in place to enable effective land management. Community development. <laughs> 